something that I want to look at and see if there's gonna be something spicy in there. I think it was also smart by SK to forfeit mid instead of top lane because Moven is known for having a lot of spicy counter picks. Fog of War, so they know. But look at where enemy jungler is. Oy El Yoy is on the other side of the map. Stealing away the red buff. I don't think oh, flash. flash. But does it execute him? And you only get one. Super's free firing under turret. It's so messy. SK is. There's a bit more damage to come through, but Super still getting hit hard. The Ignite burns it out. As for now, they survived the dive, thwarted, a couple of flashes burnt. The, way the entire top side of each of his camps. Uh, the fact is, Super still has all of his summoner spells available, Brown and Isma is trying to force this play. It makes sense again with Exa Kick. They kick him away, though. The root back on down. The crash down works, but Isma's a hit away. Super finds him, but as the expiry comes through, Isma will still die, but it's the kill in the end from Exa Kick that pays out with that double down dive. If Isma had been able to get a single hit onto Super, you can see that it's going to be a difficult contest from SK. Doss and Isma are in the area. Oh, Irrelevance found a window to roam down. Are they going to look for the fight? Well, the base drum has erupted in the crowd, so maybe it's setting up for the play as El Yoya is not level six. He can't negate the damage, and Irrelevant is just taking him down by himself on this Renekton. Flash matched over the wall. Irrelevant does it again, but with the flashback, Merwin, that was clean. Makes it a one for one in the end. And you have to say, the guts from the top laner of SK looks good. I don't think SK can threaten a dive here. Yep. So, I think he's, he's not taking any damage. We've only just started and still making fun of AD carries. <laughs> yeah, still the same. All right, come on, Exa Kick. There's the flash, handshake. But can they do it with the Ignite down and the Rend? Not quite. So close. So that Poppy doesn't even have a full item. Burn didn't flash, by the way. That was Flash Ignite, Burn from DOS, and now Algoya might be able to punish. Yep. I mean, again, using quite a bit for SK. X Kick also taking a bit of damage, but. Spears going in onto the Dragon, Teleport committed, here comes Isma, that ulti big as well on the back line for SK, in a bit of trouble, it's X-Kick first to go, that's their big damage source, but that three-man knock-up could turn the fate, Niski runs on in, but can't get the finishing touch onto Super, as Merwin sends them away, they get a bit of space from SK, as two have dropped, two on the side of MDK as well. It's an even trade. Shift damage onto him, and notice how Irrelevant's being completely zoned away. This gives Mad Lions an opportunity for collapse as Niski fights for Scowie. Zoning it on the top side, Niski still does a lot of damage through here, but SK is it enough to buy them time and turn onto Mad, who are moving towards the Herald at 2.5k. It's secured over to SK, but Super. Irrelevant on the back side. Super runs into him, and there's so much damage coming through, but Irrelevant can't finish the job. Isma tries to get in range, they turn for El Yoya, and they might have just found their fight. Niski cleaves it up, and SK with a quick two-piece feed. Lock it down. Opportunity. opportunity. There's more opportunity in the game, but not literally. You no, know my brain immediately went over. Hang, Hang on. on. Whoa, Titanic is strong. Who knew? Oh. Titanic is strong. And El Yoya shows us how it's done. That felt personal. He that did. <laughs> he flashed in onto Niski. Niski thought he was safe. He knew he was on the weak side. He was playing defensively, trying to secure the Krogs for himself. But El Yoya. He saw something that we did not, and he was very yeah. quick. On the top side, he's getting punished hard. You can see Vettis, I mean, SK are moving up to try and stop this push coming in, but Isma's by TP himself for the Nisky. time being. You mentioned it, teleport coming through. So Niski's angle's there with ulti and level 11. Flash also available. Isma trying to buy time, but three members are mad. El Yoy is still doing a lot of damage. His X kick now flying through, but that three-man Magnus Storm buys him so much time. Niski running in. Wait for that Shuriken flip onto Super, but he doesn't take it. Instead gets execution. Here's Mer when he goes golden as the flip out. Means that they've got no members left remaining, but Niski's still alive. You can see this man is still alive. As Dots flash ulties, gets two members. Niski jumps back in. How are SK members still alive? Mad under their own turret are getting thwarted as Irrelevant flashes in as well. This team is crazy! SK ace Mad Lions Koi just short of 20 minutes into the game. And are SK going to quickly convert this into the Baron? I think they just might. El Goya will be alive. The HP is very low. But on spawn, they're going to go straight for it. What a turnaround from SK to blow this game wide open. And again, another big talk point about uh, Callista, I'm sure, is going to come through. But SK surprising us all. A 3k gold lead, a Baron that will elevate it even further. And you know, the Mad Lions fans came out to play. I hope that one guy who was here yesterday for SK is Irrelevant is coming through. He's like, yep, they're there on the Purple Worm. 
it's not going down that fast. Nis keep positioning for the teleport, and they're like, okay, we're not going to threaten the end. Instead, we turn for the fight. Raskawi doesn't really have anywhere to go. Not at all. I mean, he won't be involved if they just turn for the fight. Niski's damage at this point is huge, as we talked about before. But what does the play end up being? I mean, Frescawi now in an opportune angle. If he pulls the trigger, Merwin's going to be the first one there. This is janky. As Isma runs on in, it's a great engage, though. And from Doss as well, that ulti, absolutely gorgeous. Irrelevant jumps on in with a flash. Niski is still alive. This guy is James Bond. He never says die as he runs on in for a double. Nesquik, you are a beautiful drink. SK are going to continue to clean up the fight. That's another ace. They'll give their mid lane over as sacrifice. But SK, just like that, are looking to end the game. I mean, again, watching this team fight has been exceptional. And man, looked great yesterday, but overcome by SK, who seemed like they're on the train. I was looking before, I'm saying, who's getting on the mad train? I feel like the train's going the other way. It's fast I mean, today. We're not talking about him, but Execute 8, 1, and 5. The kind of silent carry in this whole fight is irrelevant. And Niski are on the front lines. It is him on the back line cleaning up and dealing this damage. And it's going to be enough to bring him the win. Well, at least with the spawn timers coming up, we have to question a little bit more, don't we? Super in three seconds. Nexus turrets are going down. SK fighting to hit down this Nexus, but Matter back up. LEO going to be the first to die in this little grudge matchup. They don't have enough damage to get the Nexus. Too many members of Mad stand there. But look at the looking stacks. Around. You're right. Execute bopping away. Merwin saves the game, saves his life. They will hold the defense for now. They know Dragon spawning in 35 seconds. They need to get these resets off. Niski will make play around. Through. There is nothing like when you have a Renekton and an Akali and a Rail all diving on top of you, they're your immediate concern, which just allows Execute to free hit away. We thought this property was going to be a problem, but Poppy doesn't know which problem to deal with. And, and the problem is, as soon as you get close, if you get past all that many, then you have a Renata who presses all, who presses handshake. There are so many for Mad Coy. Niski doing what he can to create this pressure. SK has said, you know what, there's an open nexus. Screw top lane, let's just keep pushing in mid. Why not? Fight it out with this Akali, 4, 4, and 7. Doesn't need the rabbit on to end the game. There's Isma. They've got to be careful of Merwin, though. Cool handshake, though. They're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, Execute is on side. You're right. Look at him go. Execute is just fighting away. The steadfast meant nothing, but he is Niski deals with El Yoyo on the side. The grudge is real. Niski shows him what's up. His press gallery is just there to say hello. Nexus now going to be battered down, and SK are looking mighty fine with their 2-0 start in winter. A commanding stomp from SK. Look at some of these score lines. 1-1-18 from Isma, 1-0-18 from Doss, 11-1-6 from Execute. Really, it was only Niski that was dying, but to his credit, he was dying for his team.